I'm here at the construction site south of 466A on the spot where the new fire station is being built. And you can see behind me, Brownwood is rising up from the ground and it's a very exciting time. Well, today we're gonna to talk about something that you see all over the country. Every community has one, they each have their own personality and that is the water tower. And of course, nobody has a more distinctive looking water tower than the villages. And we've got a new one coming up and here to tell us about it is Lee Nugent, he's the project manager. How you doing? Good to see Good. you, how are you? I'm just fine, thank you. You guys have been in the business of building water towers quite a while, I understand. Uh, well over 100 years. Yeah, this is my first water tower in the villages, but the, our company has been down here to build the other towers here. They pretty much have uh, built most of them, I think. How'd you get into it and what do you like about it, Lee? Out of high school, my dad had worked for the company Chicago Bridge and Iron as a welder for wow. several years, and that, that got my interest, and in, uh, he got me my first job with him, and here I am. I have to ask you, this baby behind us looks like a monster. How big is it going to be, and how many plates are we talking about? Well, the capacity of this tower is going to be about 500,000 gallon, and uh, it takes about 80 fabricated, large fabricated plates to put together. Ah, the weight of this, this one assembly here is about eight, eight, nine thousand pounds. Wow, wow. Okay, well that's why you've got that, the hugest crane I have ever seen in my life. How <laughs> high up will that thing go? Well, that one uh, stretched to 212 feet. You actually start from the ground up. Tell me how the process works. After the base plate is down, we'll set what we call the bell of the tank. The bell of the tank will put and together in large sections to minimize the welding. We'll stand the bell of the tank up, which uh, some people call it TP, uh, kind of the shape of it. At that point, we'll erect the uh, shaft in sections of what the ball sets on. And when we get it put together in large sections, we'll bring in a outside crane. We'll set the uh, large sections of shaft and our dairy crane on top. Okay, now we're mainly looking at the outside the shell of the water tower, but what is that cream colored piece in the middle? Is that some sort of pump or will that be in the middle of the water tower? That's what we call the access tube. And the reason we call it the access tube is uh, it has a ladder you can access to the roof for maintenance and such. That sits in the middle of the, uh, the tank itself. So water is actually around the tube as you're climbing through it. Well, it's about six semi loads of tools we bring in and set up the site. Then we start receiving loads of steel and about a tank this size is about 10 semis to haul the uh, steel in. Our dairy crane will be used to build the ball. And at that time, we'll build the uh, sub-assemblies for the lower ball on the ground. We'll take 30 plates and make 10 sub-assemblies and hang them, and that there will create a lower ball, which will, will hang. And usually it takes about one day to actually hang it up there. While the lower ball is being welded, we'll build the upper ball on the ground. The upper ball is 21 plates. We sub-assemble into seven uh, large assemblies. And we'll try to get all that up in one day. When that's all good, we'll put the roof on it and start bringing our tools back down. One thing I gotta ask you is, how do you fill this bad boy? It's, it's filled at night when there's uh, minimal use. How many men does it take to construct a water tower? Uh, this one's scheduled and we try to keep a seven man crew here. Wow. Yeah, we have uh, fitters and welders and uh, assistant foremen and we, everybody has their job to do. Tidbits that most people don't know. It's very hot in there. <laughs> <laughs> well over 100 degrees. 110, 120 is not out of the question inside that vessel. How many do you think you've done? A couple dozen maybe? Well, actually, in my career, I'm probably nearing 140, wow. roughly. Yeah. I guarantee you this one's going to hold, and it's going to be here for a long, long time. Yeah, it'll be here for a long time, yes. <laughs> as usual, the villages hiring the experts, the guys who've done it before. Well, what do you think of the villages as a community? Is it safe to say things get done first rate here? It really is impressive with all the landscaping and buildings and streets and everything going up at once. I think it's an exciting place to be, yeah. Well, we're glad you're part of it, Lee. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for watching our special bonus segment on the Water Tower. Make sure to check out our current females to keep up with the building of Brownwood. <laughs>